Today is January 18th. It is actually my birthday today. I turned 31. And this is the first time that I've sat down to talk to the camera in a while. I did have like one recorded bit from my break when I was thinking maybe I was ready to start making videos again, but then it turned out that I wasn't ready to start making videos again. But here I am now, better than ever. <laughs> and yeah, I really just want to catch you guys up. I realize I probably owe you a little bit of a, not an explanation, but I am going to explain myself nonetheless. The last time we talked, I would have been at Tomo Art Market which was my last art market of 2023. <laughs> it was the weekend right before Christmas and I ended up working pretty much right up until Christmas Eve, which marked the end of basically working nonstop for the better part of three months. And spoiler alert, wasn't the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> Christmas came and went, um, it was great, everything was hunky-dory, and by the time that Christmas was over, I decided it was time to finally take this break that I had been hyping myself up for since the beginning of October when the madness of the end of my 2023 began. Right after Christmas, I basically hit a wall because I'd been working nonstop for so long. I stopped working and I started feeling really stressed out that I wasn't working because if you run your own business or if you are familiar with freelancing, you might know that when you decide to take a break, it doesn't mean that there's no work to be done. It means that you are prioritizing your mental health at the expense of some of the work that you have planned. So the whole time right after Christmas that I'm kind of trying to wind down and enter into my break era, <laughs> I'm just actually starting to feel more and more anxious because uh, as well, all of the anxiety, any feelings that I may have had in those three months about uh, the breakneck pace of the work that I was doing all came splashing down on me at once. So I basically became a bit of an anxious mess and then coupled with, of course, the turning of the new year, there's a lot of pressure of like planning and scheduling what 2024 is going to look like for me. I don't know. It was just a lot. And I don't really remember exactly what I did right after Christmas. There was kind of a period where I was like trying to like draw for fun and then do a little bit of work here and there, but also take a break at the same time. And I, I guess I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my time. So after that, I decided to take some time where I was like turning it off. I wasn't going to draw for fun or for work. I wasn't gonna think about work. What ended up happening is I laid on the couch for like four days and I binge watched Top Chef season after season and I didn't, I really didn't move. And I don't think that was great. I mean, I wanna say that it was maybe necessary as a part of my healing process of becoming like whole again, but it didn't really feel good at the time and it doesn't really feel good in hindsight if I'm totally honest. I did want to try not making art very intentionally for a while because my like entire personal identity is wrapped up in what I do for a living and just being an artist in general. And so by stopping making art, I was kind of like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> I don't really have any hobbies. I, I, I cook, but like that's, you can't really just like cook all day. That <laughs> doesn't really work that way. But on the flip side of those four days that I stayed like prone on the couch, I decided to follow through on something that I had wanted to do quite a bit earlier, more like right after Christmas, but due to like scheduling and plans and other things, I had to keep pushing it off. And as soon as I uh, fulfilled my personal obligations. I decided to go to my family's property on Vancouver Island where I could have some precious alone time. <laughs> but I decided to take that time where there's a lot of peace and quiet. There's like nobody really around and it's quite an isolated property to just make some art and like make some art for fun and just draw like in my sketchbook, which I really haven't been doing at all for like the late latter half of last year period. In all honesty, I don't really necessarily feel super happy with like any of the sketches that I did, but that's not the point. The point is just to sketch. Um, I love watching the seals uh, by the ferry terminal where the um, ferry leaves to go to Vancouver Island. And so on the ferry, I did a little sketch of a seal. That wasn't from my photograph. That was just from the internet. And then uh, just some spreads. I, I, I have been drawing with a black um, gel pen for years now in my sketchbook, but I wanted to shake it up a little bit. So I did 
decide to use cole erase um colored pencil erasable pencils and did some like character studies and was kind of trying to get this like character style down and then after kind of hammering away at that for a while i was like why am i trying to force my style into this particular box i'm just gonna follow my heart <laughs> more than like try and get an aesthetic down and so that's kind of like the evolution of all of these sketches and then i did a colored pencil sketch based on a, a photo and some more cole erase stuff um just girls i don't know i used to draw like nothing but girls and just as characters in general but i've really steered away from that in my work um in general and i'm kind of thinking like am i not a comic artist like is characters not something that i am supposed to enjoy drawing so anyway through all of those sketchbook pages i eventually led to uh creating a painting which was kind of my whole goal going out there was i wanted to take some time to do painting so this one is um a personal piece this is not a commissioned pet portrait but i wanted to combine my plein air environment style with my pet portrait style and i'm so happy with how this came out when i finished it originally i was like no it didn't i didn't do it i didn't get it but now that i don't have the reference photo in front of me and i have a little bit of time and distance between actually producing the painting i'm really happy with it and i hope to do more like that um the thing about personal work is like if i don't make time to do it i just won't do it because again there is always always paid work to complete so taking time to do personal work means like taking time and energy away from completing paid work so it's complicated forgot to mention that i had made the conscious decision at the end of december to suspend my patreon for january because the patreon is kind of like this ongoing constant commitment that i have to keep up with and i was like kind of falling behind on the rewards at the end of december i didn't have any ideas for january like period and so I took the hit, which is literally me pressing a button that says, no, I don't want 50% of my income this month. In fact, it's probably more than that for this month in particular, because there's no conventions or markets or shop sales. <laughs> Obviously, I took some time away from making videos, which kind of was incidental. I didn't really mean to, but at the same time, I don't want to be like half-assing content or like making content when I'm kind of low-key having an identity crisis. <laughs> but I am back to my old self for the most part. And that's the catch-up. Uh, if you were waiting, if you were like, where's Tuna? It's Sunday and there ain't no Tuna nowheres. Now you know. This week I've been catching up on pet portraits. I did another one this week, which was pretty fun as well. <laughs> I'm, I have one more left from my 2023 commissions and then I can get into my 2024 commissions, which is pretty good. Honestly, all things considered, I'm only a few weeks behind. Plus I took like two and a half weeks off trying to picture what 2024 is going to look like for me. I don't think I talked about like goal setting at all here. I did over on my Patreon for all of my subscribers over there. I do like a monthly podcast. And so in December I did my regular monthly podcast newsletter and then um, I always do like a bonus one that's my year end year in review and goal setting and to be honest I have like no memory of what I said on that because I think I recorded it at the beginning of December which was before I collapsed in on myself like a dying star so things may have changed since then but I am looking forward to doing a lot of painting this year between the pet portraits and hopefully some personal stuff I'm going to like not kill myself doing markets okay I did 14 markets in 2023 um which is a lot. <laughs> was it totally worth it? Like, yeah, uh, I barely did any online shop stuff last year and I learned a lot. That was the main thing like about doing all the markets in 2023 was I really wanted to determine where did people resonate with my work? Like what kinds of things were people buying? Do, do I like doing markets? And I, yeah, so I, I, I got the answers to a lot of those questions and now hopefully I can spend my precious time and energy a little more wisely in 2024. And I have a huge list of shows. Like one of the things we're gonna go over in the next video that I put out, which is gonna be my like markets 101 tips video. But an early tip is during a calendar year, like make notes of shows that you hear about or that you attend as a um, attendee or a, a shopper and like write down oh, I, I wanna do that as a vendor next year and then try and keep your eyes peeled. I got a spreadsheet and everything. Keep your eyes peeled for when they might open applications, which could be 
usually no more than six months in advance and you can check their social media or their website for an application. So I do have a full list with like a ton and I'm not gonna do all of them. Tuna, you're not gonna do every convention on this list. Thank you very much. But sorry about the audio and visual jump that just occurred. I didn't really close out that clip very well. <laughs> so I just wanted to say, yes, 2024 is probably gonna look pretty similar to 2023 with some minor changes. Um, I'm not gonna like info dump the plans that I have for 2024 because I have very, very clearly been talking for too long at this point, but I'm very excited to take you guys along for the ride. So thank you for your support in 2023. Welcome to 2024. I hope things have been off to a great start for you so far. This is unfortunately the end of the video. <laughs> it's not really the vlog that you deserve, but it's the vlog you're getting today. So I just wanna thank all of my supporters over on Patreon. Um, right now there is, no one has been billed for January, but I do wanna thank everybody who's hopefully waiting for rewards to come in February. So thank you to everyone who's over there um each month i do a mailable reward at two different tiers there's a sticker tier that is a lower price point and a higher price point where you get a sticker and a print and all kinds of fun stuff and then if you just want to throw a couple of bucks my way to support what i do here over on youtube to support the content that i post over on instagram and tiktok and wherever it is that the social media gods want me to be i show up like a good little worker ant that i am but your tips and support over on Patreon are what allows me to be here interfacing with you one on one week after week. Um, more content coming very soon. And yeah, thank you again for even just watching the video because I know we can't support every creator that we like here on YouTube. So just watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, um, however you interact with the Tooniverse, I appreciate you. Stay sparkly, don't let the cruel world dull your shine. It almost got me, it almost got me, but I'm still sparkling, <laughs> I, a little bit. <laughs> I will see you next time. Also, it's, it's a different day, but he is still sleeping in the basket because um, he's the cutest man on planet Earth. Bye.